What's up everybody, Captain Fuzzigans here again with another episode of Dark Souls. We are going to be doing more of our Dark Lord playthrough. Uh, I'm just going to load up Peaches here real quick. The last episode, we took out the butterfly and the gargoyles, did a little bit of leveling up some item management, and overall had a pretty good time. Only died one time that episode. So... If we were expecting a lot of deaths, we didn't get them last time. Uh, this episode, we got a little bit of a bone to pick with Mr. Havel, I think. Because I think he's got it coming to him. So we're going to go and talk to Mr. Havel. And see if we can't take him out. I realize the Fire Link or New Londo shortcut was probably faster. But we'll just take this longer way. Run past the Hydra, say hi to it. But yeah. Yeah, so then after we talk to Havel and take him out, I think our next stop is going to be Blight Town. Well, not Blight Town, we gotta do the, uh, I'm getting ahead of myself. So I'll take out the, uh, Capra Demon and Gaping Dragon. Although we could skip the Blight Town because we got the Master Key. But I want to kill the um, Capra Demon and then Gaping Dragon because Gaping Dragon's always a fun fight. Relatively easy one too. I mean, I know there's people that have issues with Gaping Dragon, but you know his move set is pretty easy to take out. Let's say hi to all the unlit bonfires. Yeah, and your time will come to Mister Wandering Demon. Just not today. Because we are not doing any damage. <laughs> Running away from that. Yeah, we're doing not enough, I don't think, to... Oh, that was close. Not enough to take him out just yet. Oops. I pop a heal. So I would like to go into Havel with full health. I guess these shortcuts are about the same speed. New Londo one's a little bit more fun because you have to run past all those dragons. But this one we got some decent stuff. Lizard. Oh, there's always a message there about the lizard. It's like we can't see it or something. Stealth? There's no stealth in Dark Souls, what are you talking about? There's no stealth. And you can argue that all oh, the ring of fog and blah blah, but no, it's not really stealth. It's just you're hard to see, but they eventually detect you. I, I define stealth as, you know, a mechanic to where you can see how uh, visible you are and whether the enemies are alert. So, perfect example would be, like, Metal Gear. And that's, like, stealth. Skyrim, a decent bit of stealth, too. Metro, lastly, had a pretty good stealth mechanic, but Metal Gear is where I look at when I talk about stealth games. It's all Metal Gear. Okay, hey, what was this now, like, round four? Come on. There we go, 128. That's better than last time. Come on, come on, come on. I'm gonna attempt to parry Havel because I have problems with him just in general. Well, not really problems, but I was having enough issues with peaches in general on him. So, we aren't going to do anything fancy. Where are you attacking? <laughs> There's nothing over there. Yeah, chain back. Well, not really chain back steps. Whoops. Not good. Yeah, sometimes Havel does that too. He just bugs out and just stands there. It just turns really fast. Okay. <laughs> He was just like, come on, come on, I dare you, come on. So, I kind of walked into it too, to be honest, because he hit like ahead of me and I scraped into it. Okay, so first death, again to Havel. But we, yeah, I'm determined to beat this. He's going down today. I mean, if we had a little bit more damage output, it would be nice, but... 
Although I could two hand, but then I run the risk of dying horribly. So you're going down tonight, Havel. In this video, you will go down. You just need to play it a little bit safer, and we'll be fine. Um, like I said though, we're going to be doing Taurus Demon at the end of the game, right before I finish, uh, finish off Gwyn. Because I want to see if we can get it to where we could actually kill Taurus Demon with one attack on regular game. I, mean, I know people do it on like New Game Plus and all that and they come close, but I mean, if we can get our, you know, that's New Game Plus, so they also have more health and a little bit higher defense to go with it. But if we can get it to where we're doing tons and tons of damage, on this, I think we stand a chance of being able to take him out with just one hit. You know, that'll be a you know, fully upgraded weapon, sunlight blade, most likely plunging, or a double plunging attack. You know, because if you do the jumping attack, you do a hit, you do a two hits instead of just the one for the plunging. So, I think we stand a chance of taking him out with one hit. If we play our cards right, I think so. Not doing it this time. Oh, I still need purple mosses for Blight Town. Let's go and fight Havel for round two. Oh, there's another mess. Oh, yeah, it's the same one. Try stealth. Try stealth. Gorgeous view. If you like looking at holes, that's all that is, it's a hole. Yeah, and eventually be killing that Hydra too. Uh, once I get some more damage, then yeah, we'll be definitely taking out that Hydra, because right now we have a shield that doesn't have very good stability, and we're not doing a lot, so it would take us a while if we even can get up to it, because the shield with no stability means we'd probably get killed in one hit by those uh, projectiles that he vomits out of his mouth. <laughs> okay, Havel. Tough enemy, yep. Be you not giving me any time to get in. Okay, hit me when I was behind him. Kind of odd. That was probably uh, AOE from his uh, well, from his dragon tooth there. Come on! I know I said straight to his left, but I'm strafing to his right. Yeah, you could probably just fight him, not locked on, but I rather lock on him. Come on! Yeah, we can't really kick him because he would end up. He's got too much uh, poise there. Oh, we had perfect. Not, good, not a good position. <clears throat> we had a perfect position on him really for a backstab. Why didn't we do anything about it? Backstab. Come on. Again. Walked into it. It's gonna be a long one. You just have to stop being so stupid and <laughs> stop walking into his club swings. I think I'm just getting too anxious to uh, beat him. Since I really, really want to beat him this time, so that's why I'm taking stupid risks like that. But we could use your ring, Abel, because then we could actually maybe wear some armor. Because these clothes are ridiculous. <laughs> maybe a balder knight would be nice and drop like a... I do want to use the balder shield on this, with this character. I think the balder shield is pretty cool. And I've never actually like used it, used it for a whole build. I had it on my sorcerer for a little while until I got the crush shield. And then used that. I usually use the uh, Silver Knight. Or <laughs> not Silver Knight, my one character had Silver Knight. The other one it was a uh, Blood Shield. I just get the extra resistances. And because I thought the Blood Shield looked cool with the, the armor I was using. Which was a mix of the Thorns and the uh, Dark Wraith. 
That was my main character, so you know, I also want the Claymore, plus 15. Oh, stats all over the place. I could use Artorius Greatsword and... Yeah, it, it was all over the place. Not really managed very well. I think it has like 45 endurance and stuff like that, because... I was like, I want a light roll, and then... Yeah. And then again, since a new game plus 3 with that character, it doesn't really matter where the stats go now. I mean, I can just stick them wherever. I'm feeling it this time, though. Probably should have killed him in the last video, because I was just, like, determined in that last video, and I was just on fire. But this time, it's like, nope. Nope, nope, nope. And <clears throat> not today. You just played Call of Cthulhu for an hour, so now you're gonna be off your game. Jump down and pop a heal. I should probably use a shield with more stability, but this is... I think this one has the highest physical prevent... or physical block that I have. Because I haven't even gotten a hollow shield to drop. And then I was, if I get enough souls, I was planning on picking up a longsword from Andre. Because that's going to be the weapon I'm going to be putting up to, you know, plus 15 for now. And then I was debating between maybe using the sunlight straight sword and then... or possibly a different weapon. Oh, wow, you're not even letting me get in. Okay. Alright, Hazel. More messages. Someone wished me good luck. Alright, Dave, well, here we go again. Okay. Come on. Yeah, we're not gonna be shielding anymore, because basically, it seems like whenever you do those attacks, my shield gets busted anyway. So we just gotta dodge at the last minute. Takes you a while to re-shoulder that gun. Uh, a whole whopping of more damage. Whoops. I know I hit the dodge button there. Alright, Havel. I feel this time you're going down. Jeez, let me get in the door at least. Come on. Over here. You over here. I'm not gonna two hand it, we're just gonna keep it up because shield might help us in one or two cases. That was close. It's turning quicker than usual. Come on. Yeah, but he can track you like up until like you start swinging. I think that's what was getting me, was I was trying to dodge too late, or too early, rather. But basically, when he's, once he starts the downward, you can usually dodge pretty safely. And that's just a matter of getting close enough to him to backstab him in the time being. If he would stay away from the walls. Of course, there is the other way you can lure him up the stairs and then attack him as he runs down. Whoa. Thought you had me, didn't you? Come on. Whoops. Well, you like skipped there. You like had it instantly up. Thought you had me there again. Come on. Shoot. Ah. 
should have been a backstab, what the heck. Alright, now that we seem to be dying a whole bunch of times. <laughs> this time. This time. We're probably gonna die again. Because that's what Abel has been doing to us. Give me my souls back. This time. The parrying. I seem to be getting smashed anyway, so why not? Can't pair the two anymore, though. That I know of. <sighs> Those delayed attacks. So we fell and lost all the souls we had. I think it was like something around a thousand, which kind of sucks. So here we are again at Havel. This whole video is going to be fighting Havel. Come on. Sometimes he does that, it's like he's got an itch or something. Or he's like adjusting his gear. That was a back step. See, that time he turned back. Whatever. Okay, and he just popped up. And he's going two-handed because his shield is on his back. I think. had me there, Havel. <laughs> man, that took way too long. Oh man, like seriously, that took way too friggin' long. Let's go back to Firelink, spend these souls before we lose them. And then I think I'll have to call this an episode, because it's gonna be an episode of purely just Havel. It's gonna be ridiculous. One level. Where do we need it the most? We could use a point of vitality. I'd like to get my dex up. Let's see, it's two points of damage. There's all those two points. Um, yeah, we're gonna put a point of vitality because we need it. And actually, before I call it a video, I'm gonna make one run, attempt to grab the Dragon Crest Shield. And then we're gonna call it after that, because it's gonna be a whole episode of Havel. I'm probably gonna edit out most of the running to Havel, because that was like five times that we died to him. So I'm gonna edit out most of that running, so I'm gonna make this run just to see if we can pad out the video a little bit. Keep them all about 30 minutes. Like a boss. I could go say I had a record, but I don't feel like it. Okay, so again, can we grab the Dragon Crush Shield before the dragon kills us? Let's find out. taking a swig. And there's the garage door. This is the 
Difference got 100% physical. Uh, and yeah, the grass crest does give us better stamina, but we're light rolling, so the stamina isn't too much. I mean, it doesn't really benefit us at all in the long run. But that is going to be it for this video. Um, thanks for watching, everybody, and hopefully, the next video will actually do something. But yeah, until next time, I will see you guys later.